Yeah, so you listen to the sounds of Snapbacks and Flat Caps. This is your host, Rob. Mr. Dan Blake Voice is not here this week. You can follow him on all the socials, which is Dan Blake Voice. But this week, we're joined by a couple of guests, actually. Um, so we've got two guests in the building. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves about who they are and what they do. So, boom. Let's go, le- let's go right to left. <laughs> This is just left with That's like it's right. It's my right, though, isn't it? My right. So right. <laughs> yeah, my right. Yeah. Tony TNT, boom bam, uh-huh. entertainer out here. Yeah. Explosive. Boom. Artist, creative content maker. Yeah. All of that. All of that. All everything. Of that. Everything. Trying, trying to fit everything in. Boom, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My name's uh, Ironic or DJ Ironic. Ra- 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 so like, I'm going yeah. to Yeah. <laughs> Uh, ironic or DJ Ironic people call me um, mm. producer DJ artist mm. same as you bro a bit of everything anything to do with like art creative vibes mm-hmm. um, especially within like the UK urban music scene you know what I mean so yeah, yeah. that's good we do talk about music quite a bit here as well because it's, mm. it's just the natural progression because we get different people on the pod um, but yeah. yeah UK music always comes into it somehow because obviously yeah. you know I've got my show The Best of British yeah Tuesday always evenings. supporting my bro trust That's me it, man and um yeah and so we always touch on that quite a bit though i think mm. the last thing we spoke about i would say it's uk controversy we had sculpture yeah. released from jail quite recently that's my guy yeah, and yeah. he's from he's from north innit? he's from he's north, north, Scorch, yeah, isn't he? north so he's come out and um he's the straight in the studio straight we talked about i've been in the studio you with him I've, before yeah i've been in the studio I'm, like i said i'm getting into a bit of a and r and so Tick. i'm doing some stuff behind the scenes let's Getting with artists, getting them producers, beats, whatever. So I've been working with Scorcher the last few weeks. He's got some bangers coming, yeah. man. He's got a summer banger coming. That's mad. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, because we were talking about it before and we were a bit like, mm. because he's been gone such a long time. Yeah. Music has changed so much. It has, yeah. But you see, like, Scorcher, maybe I'm biased because he's one of my favourite MCs of all time. He's in mm. my, like, top ten. And he's North London, you get me? But yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like he can adapt to any style, any sound. Like, he's done... Obviously, the girl them songs. Mm. He comes from the movement, which is straight lyrics. Yeah, course, yeah. You know what I mean? I think he can. He's one of them artists or MCs that can adapt. So mm. it's a bit of a mad one, yeah. It's good. It's an exciting time, man. I mm. think what's important is that a lots, a lots happened, and um, yeah. I know that you've been doing it for like yes. for for ages, isn't it? Yeah. So man. you've kind of seen the whole signs you've seen the whole kind of emerging of different genres you've yeah. seen people go to superstardom like every, yourself, every part of everything it. Yeah. yeah every part of it i've seen i've studied it from i can blame my mum really like she yeah. got me into it from jungle mm-hmm. and then going into garage music listening to heartless crew and pays ago and then going into grime mm-hmm. and then going into like my era the pop commercial era yeah. then to now Stormzy's era like studied it proper proper man so yeah it's crazy i love it man, though like man, i love like it storms as well like that's Bro. another thing like you've seen the tiny tempers and then yeah. you've seen the Stormzy's. yeah yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah 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 there's all different worlds like mm. like you said i've seen it i'm calm i've seen artists get signed i've seen them go seen the seen the evolution mm. bro and like even like you said stormzy seeing him on the glass door stage the other day was mad bro like mm-hmm. mad That's proud it watching is. it you know them ones like it's, it's a pinnacle moment yeah. i remember watching it just being transfixed same by it just about what it represents yeah. it's like literally you know yeah. when you i've got a feeling it's one of those situations where you can like years to come people are going to ask you where you were or yeah. if you went when you were what watching. it was like yeah 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 same. yeah it's crazy man it's mad, it makes you think. a main stage yeah, as well yeah, yeah. you look back to like you know like you said like the jungle era from the that era, from that to now eskimo Blast dance from es- from yeah. uh, from grime mc spitting and eskimo <laughs> dance or sidewinder fighting over the mics, fighting over the mics yeah, yeah, to like yeah. main stage and stormzy was p- performing some gritty tune like he was performing proper like he done the commercial mm. but he was performing real grime on that stage he came out to know me from like it was real king business oh, you, you watched so, it though yeah yeah he's uh you need to watch it bro he's sick it watch it watch it on yeah. the the playback player. and stuff yeah. i'm telling you man it's uh he's a real bad man you need to ask carlos in it <laughs> you know them ones <laughs> ask, ask carlos. carlos ask carlos man. hey you know ask bro carlos. that's mad that he even performed that because i know most of that car didn't know what was going on with that <laughs> yeah even with the clip because he played the gets clip in yeah, it yeah, before yeah. he performed that tune. Gonna look back now on youtube on okay what's he talking about and then yeah. look back Years, you know, years yeah, 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 yeah. That's mm-hmm. what's amazing about it. Like, if people don't know much about grime, and that's mm-hmm. what I was even saying to my friend the other day when I was watching it. Like, bare people might not even 
know Stormzy or they probably know Stormzy but might not even know them tunes but watching him mm-hmm. on that stage will make you get into Stormzy or grime music you know mm-hmm. what I mean and even the Dave and um the Dave and the Alex kid or whatever oh like, Alex from Glasgow that's another controversial Alex thing. from Glasgow Alex bro. from Glasgow he's gonna get he's a record deal. deal isn't it yeah he's got a boohoo deal that's all mad bro that's yeah but I can't even like in, internet is undefeated isn't it it's undefeated it's fully bro. fully undefeated yeah. The, the viral and that's how you can get it but it's yeah. mad I, I don't think it's I mean it's cool it's an experience for like if I'm 15 and yeah. I do that I'll be like oh yeah it's great and all the rest of it but are you really going to be bothered I mean everyone's forgot 30 coming fast isn't it yeah, yeah that's the shit. thing like See? it comes and goes bro. Well, he made his money he made you know it did he make did he make enough to be able to just because he's got he might get taken in and then forgotten about and thrown out you know yeah. them ones the guy that made the, that made the video true yeah true yeah. he released a music video though as well you know that innit yeah well, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah that's what I'm yeah. saying no but I'm it's just, oh, it's, it's, just it's crazy you know what is about uh, Stormzy as well is that mm. it's his brand as a person 100 like people really yeah. really buy into him Humble. i mean i do i mean he's just like he's entertaining but he doesn't play the fool do you know what i mean 100 yeah, percent. yeah 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 he, he doesn't take it but at the same time he's still humble he stands his ground mm-hmm. and he, he just yeah he goes for what he represents and i respect it highly you yeah, know, yeah. Don't want to. i think now you know in the social media era mm. when you interviews that on youtube yeah you can kind of you know you can delve deeper into the artists yeah yeah yeah, so a lot of people are kind of connected to me again. Because of the online presence and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's important, man. And he's not like in your face online. Like, he's not always like putting up things. But when he does, it means something. Or he's saying something that man listen to. You know, and he ghosts as well. He comes off the socials and stuff. Saying. And it's, that stuff's important, man. Very. We were speaking about it on a pod uh, a few weeks ago about, about digital detoxes and stuff. Because, yeah. like we know, it's a different generation of consuming music. And uh, one of it is the the kind of social media influence. So, like we're talking about Alex from Glasgow. Yeah. Alex from Glasgow, imagine. That's his, na- that's like his name now. It's like an artist. Alex from Glasgow, bro. <laughs> he's got bro, he's, yeah, ver- Twitter, Twitter. he's verified on the gram now. You yeah, know? yeah. And on Twitter. <laughs> and on Twitter. He's got 120k. Oh, it's like, all mad, bro. Like, it's crazy. I need, I need a social media detox, though. Right, so. I was yeah. like, who's this guy? Like, out of nowhere, I'm like, who's this guy from Glasgow? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he's on Good Morning Britain. and. Yeah. Did you see the um, controversy saying that, like, that if that was a black guy up there, they yeah. wouldn't have had them on the news yeah, the next yeah, yeah, yeah. day and, like, they wouldn't be, like, <laughs> raving about it so much, like, mm-hmm. only because it's a white kid. They were, from like, Somerset. Yeah, well, and like, Pierce from... Morgan was like, yeah, love rap music, keep doing your thing. <laughs> like, and the other day he was like, oh, I'm not representing this rap thing. Or drill. You know? or yeah, or this yeah, drill. It's drill it's you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, a bit, I mean, it's a bit controversial. It's, it's one of them ones where... We know in it. We know in it. Yeah, yeah. We know. Yeah. We know in it. We know what you say. It's like you ever see that interview with um, AJ Tracy that he had. Oh, I saw that on the that, news. Oh, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. The woman was asking him about gangs. Yeah, and yeah. And he's like, "It's just me and my friends, and we're shooting a video." Yeah, we're not understand. a gang. We're just yeah. Yeah. Oh, you could tell he was yeah. screwing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they did. They, bro, they just say some silly things, man. So. Yeah. The antagonist. Yeah. Have you had, ever had one of them interviews where they try and like? Well, I haven't, you know. Because you're a different sort of artist, though, isn't it, really? Yeah, I don't think they've ever put me in that box. I remember when I had one of my biggest records, Stay With Me, they were putting that in the papers as, like, the anthem for Broken Britain. Because at that time, there was a lot of knife crime, but there was a lot of people saying that that song was, like, I don't know, bringing a bit more something peace. Different. Yeah, something different. Oh, I'm something. not. I weren't really... Positivity. Yeah, so I've always kind of had a, a bit of positive, positive energy around my name, but... um. When I went through my incident, when I got stabbed outside my house, mm. that kind of brought a bit of stigma. And then a few journalists asked a few different kind of questions. Dig. Yeah, they yeah. were trying to dig and like, yeah, but I, I had nothing to do with it. So I didn't know not much that's, about I mean, that's it, a yeah. situation. And you know what's crazy is that um, obviously now that's that's a huge issue about yeah. life crime. But ironically, like, ironically <laughs> you're, no um, you're, you're, not, you're not an artist. Like, you're not, not to say drill artists are like, from all from the road and all yeah. about this life and all but that but I don't bring it. that but you're not kind that's of, not what you're about nah, yeah. so it was, that's probably the biggest shock mm, it? yeah yeah I just keep it 100% myself man that's all I've been able to do like even when it when people ask me like Why, how comes you make like bare girl songs like like that was what I was about innit I was yeah, like yeah. Gallus I was on the girls <laughs> you know, was. so I wanted to make yeah. songs for girls and I've just always yeah. been myself bro so yeah at that time it was a bit confusing mm. but yeah man and you know what's interesting is that you were going through 
a stage where like they, you know what basically it's like this right mm. you know there's like business relationships family relationships all of this now now when you're in the music industry there are authentic relationships or are they yeah. none of them authentic are they just all like yeah for the because th- are they for the gram before this was even for the gram because yeah. there's some which you're not kind of sure because now yeah. everyone's my guy you know a, i'm just gonna say that everyone will see each other at a party and then post a picture yeah, of my, my guy, guy. <laughs> and then not see each other for two years and yeah. then see each other again my bro you yeah. know that one it's yeah mad. but they're not posting like that when people are like yeah not having a buzz or they're not popping yeah, yeah that's yeah. like that not that Cali thing you know that guy you know what i'm not gonna bait in anyone up but you know that guy <laughs> you know there's that guy in it and he bear like yeah my guy my guy for photos of everyone who is and that what american no he's an oh. uh uk guy right i'm not gonna put <laughs> him on sm- though, i'm not gonna put him on smoke people. but there's a, there's a guy who um he does a lot of that and okay. um, I, I just one day i want the guy who's in the photo the other guy to turn around and be like saying, what are you talking about bro i just seen you outside greg's like what are you on about like, oh, yeah, not, i can imagine saying you know something like that yeah, yeah, like, commenting like, on it. No, bro try. you're not my guy bro like, so. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, man. well this is well how do you separate because i mean you've like yeah. for you as well i think you've seen um you've seen when everyone's around you when you're on top in it like when the you're at the bottom yeah i've had like everyone, isn't it? i've had like i feel like i've had three different moments yeah mm. so like when i first came out it was mad love like mm. he's the biggest whatever like popping mad sign mm. big deals and then that's like the peak i've had mm. and then probably like 2012 i guess after my incident mm. like things started going downhill because i stopped working for a bit and moved out of london for about a year didn't contact no one and then your name goes quiet and then when I go back out, I step out, it's like, raw. where is everyone? Like, you know who they did that to? It's who? Chip. Do you yeah. Who Chip so he's kind of he felt back. exactly the same. And then now, like now, it, probably I'll say the last five, four years, I've been back and active again and putting out records. Mm. And now I just get like love, but in a different way. It's more like, like um, OG, like, mm. like, yeah, we respect you. Or, like it's that kind of love, which I, I, I rate as well. But yes, yeah, so I've seen the start, the mad love, then the middle when, I ain't really had nothing, and then again now it's back to showing a lot of love and appreciation. So, it's man. yeah, it's what it's mad for the for the brain. Yeah. What? I don't know where that's coming from. Um, <laughs> why? Yes, um, it's mad mentally, like going through that, because um, especially the middle one, because you're like, raw. Where was everyone? Where's everyone gone? Like I thought it was love. Like I remember going to one party. I think it was like a mobile. Um, nomination party and like maybe it was where i was at mentally but i just felt like no one was rating me bro and this was mm. after i've had bare top tens and everything so it's like mentally i was just thinking this is nuts like is was it all fake then like mm. you know them ones like mm. the whole well thing. you're gonna th- you're of course you're gonna think like that yeah. because if it just becomes the norm and now hold on a second people aren't giving they're me not the checking for me now and yeah. i think it's even worse now because now artists come at such a quick pace and there's new there's the new, new school. every day and yeah. they're like oh this guy's hot but that's why like i say like when i met stormzy for the first time or dave they actually show appreciation like them and say yo i grew up on you bro i gotta tell you first mm-hmm. like and they show real love yeah. so i kind of respect the new school that i've been coming out still because they it's just more of a respect level now and i like it man and i do think a part of it was my own fault mentally i probably weren't in the right space then even when i say i went into the mobile party I probably went in with the wrong energy anyway because mm. I was just I just got stabbed I didn't trust anyone I just come from moving out of London you know what I mean so yeah. mentally I probably weren't in the right space anyway so it's a lot mentally to you know to do this mm. yeah you know? trust me bro like, look, Chip, like you said Chip, Chip's yeah. been through his moments I've seen him go on Twitter and he's you know what I mean ranting and he's he's had his moments where I know he was like talking like you know what I mean? Depression talk and that and mm. Stormzy and you know what I mean? I think we all we all go for it. It's hard bro. I reckon like that's why it's important that, you know, men in general talk. Yeah. Mm. Hundred talk about the issues, how more yeah. Be, yeah. Um there's a there's an event in particular called the Man Talk. I don't know if you heard about nah. it. Terrell Lewis and others and they get Sick. up to talk and it's just men, just men like just two hundred something men yeah. talking about the issues and letting it out, letting it out, talking yeah. about career, finances, mental health, yeah. and then like people are getting up from the crowd and then they're opening up. Yeah, like, oh, that's sick. Empowering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When's that? Where's that? Oh, I don't know. It, there was one. The other, there was one a few months back, but I think they're going to do another one. And they have panelists. They have. I think they had Chucky yeah. online from Halfcast on there. Sick, yeah. They had uh, Terrell Lewis, like you mentioned. That's sick. Uh, that's Councillors cool. and stuff. Yeah. Cool. yeah, that's sick, man. That's yeah. needed. That's definitely needed, man. I think it's even more important in the industry 
that we're in as well yeah. because there's so mm. much like machismo and so much yeah. flashy stuff and mm. then there's so much like like hyper masculinity in a yeah, way definitely. like it's this it's very especially if you're a young kid mm. and you haven't really got guidance and you're yeah. getting guidance from the wrong place yeah. it just it's a difficult place to be in right? it is it is luckily like my mum she's been a, a, a big help to me she was my manager at the start and she like she when i even when i moved out she was on the phone to me like almost every day just like making sure i was on the right path making sure i was all right mentally and just my friend like my group of friends like you said like um it's important to talk to your friends or your, or your guys your man them um luckily i've just been open with them you know what i mean so that kind of helped me a lot so mm-hmm. yeah man it's important it's important to have the right people around you. Yeah, yeah. Right, teams. right teams. I think that's important as well. I think mm. it's, it's about, a li- like you're saying, like limiting negativity and negative people and toxic 100%, people. 100%. Because yeah. you realise that that's, that's half of the problem. Yeah. Because how are you going to get better or how are you going to get mentally strong? With that, when, and with that kind of mentality, yeah. Yeah, and with those people around you who are just... Mm. And especially now, like we're saying, all this my guy, my guy, we might like, we laugh and joke about it and stuff as well, mm. but then you just become so easily confused because yeah. people are supposed to be, you think, oh, this guy's my power and the next thing you know, he's stabbing me in the back and yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. And it's, best it's just messy. It's easy to get caught up in the positivity when everyone's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. Yeah. It's like, it makes it all yeah. a happy place, isn't it? Yeah. And then surprising when it's like, oh, someone might stab you in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've had situations where like we had that my guy thing and all that, and then yeah. you hit man up for a tune or something, and man's like, oh, I don't know, my bro, you know, Ooh, <laughs> I, you know what it is, you know, Thursday's not yeah, good for me, yeah, you know? yeah, um, yeah, Friday yeah. I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah. Saturday, oh, not so even it's like we show was. each other love for the gram, but then behind mm. the closed doors, man, them don't really want to show man love, like. Well, it's worse now because people were doing it before the gram. People were doing it, right? Yeah. But now people are doing it on the gram, so it looks mm. even worse. So it's going out to that big wide world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making connections. Just you know, connecting yeah. that whole, you know, mental health and social media as well. It's yeah. Like everything's amplified, so it is. You know, more important, we need you know the right people around us. You know, yeah. The people around mm. us to, to be able to talk to the unit. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right about the social media thing because we speak about social media on here like all the time because yeah. it's so crazy. Like, these are tools that people don't really know how to use, you know? And I think mm. it's it's a dangerous thing because people are only posting the best bits. They're yeah, not posting yeah. the downside. So you feel like you're not, you should be like this. You should be like yeah, this Yeah, my guy, manager was talking about that own. the other day because people are only posting the lit the success, side of their yeah. life. They're not saying them. So everyone, people might be sitting back at home looking at that thinking, wow, my life is mad because he's living, he's living, you know what I'm saying? But literally everyone's going through issues behind the closed doors, but we're not going to post that on the gram. You know them no, ones? No. I think like, I, I will say something though. Mm. Some people are now posting more vulnerable, vulnerability yeah, stuff. Yeah, opening uh, up a bit. Uh, just gently and stuff because I think that that's important to do because when yeah. you start doing that, people are like, oh, okay, cool. Like yeah. I'm not the only person who feels like this. Right, other people yeah, that. and that's where things like the the man talk you mentioned earlier. Yeah, um, yeah, up. I try. I want to try and do that a bit more as well. To be fair, mm. like I, as I'm getting older, I feel like man's just an open book now. You know mm. them ones. I just want to let mm. everything out. Like even talking now, like I love this. Just having a conversation and just mm. I'm open to talk about whatever or talk mm. or just mention anything that I've gone through. You know them ones, so mm. other people can learn from it or you know what I mean. Like yeah, everyone's got their own journeys, and it's like yeah. a lot of people's journeys are similar. Yeah, know? exactly. Some certain things mm. that they might have gone through, ups, downs. Yeah, especially in this yeah. field. In this field, most more than anything, I think, because yeah, it, like the pattern, the music might change, but the pattern will still. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Stay yeah. the same. Even if you're talking about like actual like rock stars and stuff like that, you still it's get still, yeah. the vultures. You yeah. still get this. You every, still get, every, you get problems with money. You yeah. still get all these things. You know? Everyone, yeah, everyone goes through it. You know, I was saying to my friend the other day, I was saying that I'm glad that I grew up with half and half. So, like, half my life I had social media Mm. and half my life I didn't. You know them ones? Perfect era. Like, Mm. yeah, Yeah. the youngsters, they only know social media, you know? So, the clout level that they're trying Mm. to get to is mad. That clout word is crazy. You know about that clout word, man? I feel feel, feel bad for them in a way because they don't know what the previous era was. No. the social pressures that they have yeah even more it's it's actually peak when it's actually that. mad bro like we can turn off our phones and mm. and actually live a normal life like we're calm without it you know what i mean mm. but the youngsters like they only know instagram and snapchat mm. like it's mad 
Like, do they even know how to conversate? I don't know. Bro. I think like, this is part of the problem. I think this is a <laughs> part of the problem why a lot of people are getting into yeah. so many conflicts because yeah, yeah. you don't know how to communicate with people. For real. So you're just because yeah. you're so used to talking to people through that. Yeah. Like human interaction is hard. Yeah, it's awkward. You know, and yeah. I think that's yeah. I think like I said, like the it's event mad. is like sick for doing that because I don't know, man. Like like you're saying, I'm part of you, like as well. I've had yeah. not had social media. I've had social Best media, so I've always been able to talk to people normally and whatever. But I think now people, and on top of that, people's insecurities are in there. Yeah, because yeah. you're talking about like we're saying about people living their best life on the ground. Yeah. And you feel kind of way about yourself. Yeah. So when you go out into the street, you don't really want to talk to people. Talk to, yeah, it's like, crazy. Man, them probably don't even move to girls no more. Oh, I don't know. Crazy. Just in DMs, <laughs> man. DMs. Just DMs or Tinder, yeah. like it's mad. Instead of meeting a girl on the street or in a the club, they yeah. want Tinder. Just it's just swiping. Yeah, swiping. people. Don't, you know what? To be fair, I don't think people know how to meet girls like on road like when i was like young it yeah. used to be like yo like look at her boom let's go chat to her that go kind of thing her, yeah. now it's just like man's just looking for love you know oh like, yeah, yeah. Love, yeah or you're just, just pre her gram yeah, you see her in person and then yeah. go pre her gram you yeah know yeah, yeah that's crazy that's <laughs> just, like, when we're getting into that era like, everything's just yeah. you know, on yeah. the phone everyone's just in this yeah yeah, yeah. you know don't know what's anything could be going on something could be blowing up oh, just all just on this the phone. Uh, can you imagine if the government was like you know what i'm gonna lock off the internet on a sunday so everyone has to Man. You know what I mean? Imagine Everyone if the guy. Go- yeah. Well, you know it's you know when Instagram and uh, yeah, what went down, mad. WhatsApp and Instagram went down the other day. Right? It was mad. Everyone was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> everyone went over. To, like, everyone went yeah. over to Twitter. <laughs> yeah, to uh, check if that's yeah. That. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, I see one tweet," and one guy goes, "Oh." Since the ground's been down, I went downstairs and talked to my family. For They're what? actually safe, you know. <laughs> They're actually kind of alright still. Like that is like, nuts. Yeah, that is bad. It's yeah. Well, like it's like what I said before. I don't have my phone in my yeah. bedroom, for example. I always leave my phone in the kitchen. For real, like, I never have it. Um, like before I go to bed, and I yeah. don't have it when I wake up either. But how do you set your alarm though? I got an alarm clock. That's mad. An alarm yeah, clock. Yeah, you know? like, yeah. Alarm yeah. clock is yeah. mad. <laughs> What's well, that? <laughs> like, what like, bro, the young people don't know what an alarm clock yeah. is. Bro. <laughs> it's usually like a little grey thing with the time. You set what time you're going to go up. Boom, that's it. That is mental, bro. I, I rate that, that though, yeah. Yeah, put that in. So I leave that in the kitchen. I leave uh, the alarm clock in my bedroom. I don't have any screens in my bedroom at all. And then I have... No like, TV, just, nothing? No, no, no. That's I just good. work out the living room and then... My phone's in the kitchen, and sometimes, like when I go to the gym, I don't even take my phone. I I've might like even a try that, you know. First generation iPhone I got, yeah. so I've got like mixed cloud on there, all the listening stuff. I bring that to me with the gym. Um, I rate that still. I if there's that look, still. if there's a, like a legit emergency, emergency, yeah, yeah. You, and now you can't get hold of me, and you can't get hold of my my missus mm. or my mum or anything like that, mm. ain't an emergency, G. Yeah, Do you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, like it's really yeah, not, bro. But you're true, just gonna yeah. have to wait. Yeah. And you know what it is? Is when you're asleep. You know when you're like asleep for like eight hours or whatever. And if there is an emergency and your phone's mm. not in your room, they've waited eight hours anyway. So yeah. like another hour. And my phone's more time on silent anyway, so I, mean? I wouldn't hear it while I'm sleeping. Yeah, so. I think it's important to start your day good and end it good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you, don't, you should be looking at your phone at like bright lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. I've got dimmers in my flat, bruv. Dimmers. <laughs> you know, in it, in it, like, he's yeah, come around yeah, before, yeah. right? Is it? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to bed soon. And man's like, yeah, dimming setting, the lights. Setting the tone, setting yeah. Setting the alarm clock. <laughs> you know, like, I still want to go home. I'm going to fall asleep. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Just yeah, like, yeah, but I set the mood. Putting um, the uh, eco thing on the telly so it dims oh, and all gosh. that. Is that what you did? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fam, your house is like lit, fam. Man's got alarm <laughs> clocks, <laughs> dimmers, yo. Just relaxing, bruv. Relaxing, bruv. I'm going to try that still. I'm going to. I, I, I've, things, I've started off like just I'll check my emails in the morning because mm. that's important yeah. and then that's it I won't go on socials until at least like 11, 12 yeah, I'll yeah. try big tasks out the way first, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean just work, focus and then if nothing else mm. then I won't check socials what about training? you exercise your gym? You yeah I try I try and because it's hard bro I'm always on the road I'm always mm. doing shows so it's hard to like eat good meals when I'm on yeah. the road like because it's there's nothing at service stations really yeah, that's yeah. good dead um food. dead food yeah dead food, dead so um boss man sandwiches yeah and it's party life it's all mad so we always um i try like during the week i try jog every morning Sick. um and not just for for health just for mental mm. <clears throat> mental health just even ideas like i think of things while i'm jogging or you know what i mean just quick half an hour i try to do that every day um, and I try to stay a, a quite a bit healthy during the week, but then the weekends is just always lit, bro. Cause yeah. man, it's just parties it's just after parties. Yeah, it's all balance, it? it is. It is all about balance. Yeah, yeah. So and you know what it is as well. People on the gram will see 
the lit weekends. Yeah. But yeah. Not the yeah. getting up early, getting up. running. But I try to post that all lines. on my snap, like my jogging and that, mm-hmm. and the views and that. Yeah, I try to do do post a bit. That's working on self. Yeah. Back, yeah. I remember I did post one a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. um, of me jogging, and I was listening to Chip, so I added them. And then he even reposted and was like, "Raw jogging, I need to get on that as well. Yeah, yeah, so, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Motivate. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's good, man. I'm trying.